Ulysses S. Grant's real name was Hiram Ulysses Grant. A person act misspelled his name as Ulysses S. Grant in the letter. Before he was president, he was the general to the Union, and he fought against the general of the Confederacy, Robert E. Lee, and accepted Lee's unconditional surrender, and he was earned the nickname Unconditional Surrender Grant. He was also called United States Grant and Uncle Sam Grant. And then he was, it was rumored that he smoked cigars for victory, and Northerners sent him thousands of boxes whenever they won a battle. And of course, this all took a turn where he was in debt and contracted throat cancer. And even though, he, despite those two things, he was able to write his last book and the famous author Mark Twain helped publish that book. Rutherford Burchard Hayes. Hayes was nicknamed his fraudulency or Rutherford Burchard Hayes because his victory was announced only three days before his inauguration. And he entered the office with controversy with that and that he won by only one electoral vote, thus making him the winner of a split vote. He and his wife started the tradition every year on Easter, the Easter egg roll on the White House lawn. His wife was nicknamed Lemonade Lucy because she would often serve lemonade instead of alcohol at events. And of course, lemonade was a popular soft drink before pop came in. Hayes was known for keeping a diary entry from the age of 12 until the age of 70. He promised that he would only serve one turn, and so he did. James Abram Garfield. Garfield was nicknamed Preacher President because of his talent for public speaking. He was the first left-handed president. In fact, he was the first ambidextrous president, which is obviously a rare thing for people because they could write with both hands. And he could entertain friends by writing Latin in one hand and Greek in the other. He was the second president to be assassinated. He was assassinated at a Washington, D.C. train station, and, and he and doctors struggled to keep him alive. Back then, the doctors really didn't have a whole lot to do, and so all they could do was like stick fingers and instruments to find the slug, and obviously they didn't have like sanitary gloves or a sanitary hand sink, so that probably added to it. The inventor of the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell, who already installed the first telephone into the White House, invented the first crude metal detector in hopes that would help find the slug in, after President Garfield got shot. The device failed because Garfield laid on a bed of metal springs, which obviously threw that off. Chester Allen Arthur. He was known as Elegant Arthur because of how his attire was. And he was often known for changing his pants for occasions, and he owned like at least 80 pants. And there was nothing Arthur loved more than fishing for salmon. Stephen Grover Cleveland. Cleveland later dropped Stephen and went by Grover Cleveland. He was the only president to serve two non-consecutive terms so far. He was the 22nd and the 24th president. He was a bachelor for some time until he got married. Although he was not the first president to not get married, Buchanan was the only president to not be married. His first child was Ruth Cleveland, and he often took her to a candy store where a candy man eventually became the name of a candy bar. Cleveland was nicknamed Uncle Jumbo because of his size. He weighed about 250 pounds. <laughs> and he was the first president since the Civil War to not fight in the war. He lost the election in 1888 to Benjamin Harrison, which was a split vote, and then he later came back to beat Harrison. 
as making him the 24th president. Benjamin Harrison. Harrison was the third president to win by a split vote. The first president to win one was John Quincy Adams. Harrison was the own was the grandson of William Henry Harrison, making them the only grand parent, grandfather grandson president so far. He was not much of an outgoing person, and people often saw him as being in a bad mood, and he was nicknamed the Human Iceberg, and he did not like large crowds. He often made small speeches to small crowds on his front porch. He lost the election to Grover Cleveland. William McKinley. McKinley was the idol of Ohio because he came up with the idea of the Panama Canal, which made trade easier for Northern Americans to South America. Theodore Roosevelt succeeded his vice president after his vice president died suddenly. And McKinley was the third president to be assassinated. And then he was succeeded by Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt. He was nicknamed Teddy Roosevelt. And he was the youngest president to be in office at the age of 42. And he was a very popular president. And he was the cousin to a later president, FDR. More on him later. Had the name Teddy Bear named after him. And the funny story is, he was on a hunting trip and the only animal they saw was a bear cub, and he refused to shoot it because it was a little baby. Aww. And then he attempted running again for president against the next one, Taft, into a third party, the Bull Moose, making that the only third party to come close in an election. The term Bull Moose came when he gave his speech in Chicago where someone uh, attempted to shoot him, and then a copy of his folded speech and his metal glasses case slowed it down, saving his life, and then he boasted, I'm as fit as a bull moose. And then that name stuck. And that was, the Republican Party was split into progressive and conservatives, and the bull moose was the progressive Republican Party. William Howard Taft. William Howard Taft was literally the largest president of the United States. Believe it or not, he weighed more than a baby elephant. In fact, he got stuck in the standard White House bathtub, and so they had to get him an oversized bathtub, which could fit three other men with him. And he was also a narcolepsic president. He often fell asleep at inappropriate moments. Oh, was I sleeping? Sorry. He fell asleep during a parade of his honor in New York, and he dozed while riding an open automobile. Oh, no. And he always loved being playing baseball. He was a good hitter, but not a good runner because of his size. When he was younger, his nickname was Big Lug, and then eventually he became Big Bill. And in fact, he started the, the tradition of the president opening the season by throwing out the first pitch. Play ball! He and Theodore Roosevelt lost the election to Woodrow Wilson, and Taft was never so happy to be out of the office. And when he got out of office, he dropped some weight and then was appointed to Supreme Court during the 1920s. He loved it so much that he often wrote, I don't remember when I was even president. And then he passed away. And he served in the Supreme Court until his death. Thomas Woodrow Wilson. Wilson was the first president to earn a PhD, but as a youngster, he struggled with a learning disability. 
He was president during the First World War. And during his presidency, his first wife died in office. And then he shocked the nation's capital by dating a woman named Edith after his first wife, Ellen, passed away. And boy, was he head over heels. He proposed three months after his first wife passed away. But Edith rejected him, saying, it was too soon. And so he tried again, and then he remarried 16 months after his first wife passed away. Wilson try, tried to keep the United States out of World War I, but when England declared war on Germany, we had to go help our friend. The funny thing is, is we sided with those that shot Archduke Franz Ferdinand, but we had to help England, our friend, because we had we have such close ties with England, with NATO and UN, but those came later. After World War I, Wilson encouraged people to join the League of Nations, and nobody, particularly the Grand Ole Party, a.k.a. the Republican Party, wanted to be part of it. Today, the United Nations has more members than the League of Nations, and his efforts awarded him the Nobel Peace Prize. And Wilson was under such stress and suffered a stroke while in office, and so his wife, Edith, took over presidency. Warren Gamaliel Harding. Harding was the first president to be elected by us women. The women got the right to vote and the women interrupted Wilson's inaugurational speech saying, we want to vote, we want to vote. And they were heard and elected Harding as president. He used a device that was newfangled at the time called the megaphone and used his inaugurational speech with that. His nickname was Wobbly Warren because long before he was president because he had habit of often changing his mind a lot. And then during his presidency, there was the Teapot Dome scandal where they attempted drilling oil in the federal lands and over in one of them was the Oregon Teapot Dome. And then Warren Harding died in office and was succeeded by his vice president. John Calvin Coolidge Coolidge was born on the 4th of July. He succeeded President Harding after Harding passed away. His, fam his home did not have any telephones, so he shortly after his presidency, there was the stock market crash of 1929 in New York City. And despite his efforts, the economy was a mess. And I'd have to say he did a pretty good job, but, but he lost to FDR, 